Hey Tutoring Bee fans, I am back with another video. I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to get another one out to you, but this one is on adding and subtracting fractions with the butterfly method. Um, normally when we add or subtract fractions, we have to find common denominators, equivalent fractions, and then add. This is a much easier method. So I have a couple of fractions set up that I'm going to add together, and it is called the butterfly method because we are going to make ovals like this and this is one of the little antenna so I'm going to actually multiply these two numbers that I just circled 3 times 1 is 3 and put that up there and then for the other part of the butterfly I'm going to circle those two 2 times 4 goes in this section right here and then the body of the butterfly is down here 3 times 4 is 12 now I add up the numbers that I just uh, wrote at the top, 8 plus 3 is 11, and then my new denominator is 12. Pretty cool, right? Um, so I'm sure you're asking, how does this work? I'm so glad you asked. I have my fraction pieces to show you exactly why this method works. So I have my pieces here, and this is just a reference. So this is one whole. And then I've got my two-thirds plus my one-fourth. So whenever we're multiplying fractions, we're actually asking how many pieces are in one of these fractions. So when I multiply the two times four, I'm asking what size pieces can I split this third into fours? And since I have one third, this one split into fours, I have four twelfths. And another third, this one split into four, the only um, size pieces that will fit in there are twelfths because four twelfths is equivalent to one third, four twelfths is equivalent to this third, so I have a total of eight twelfths, or I have eight pieces out of um, my two thirds. And then the same is true for the one fourth. Since I multiplied that one times three, I'm asking what size pieces can I split this fourth into three pieces? So the answer to that question is twelfths. If I have three twelfths, that's equivalent to one fourth. Um, so when I add these all up together, I get eleven twelfths. Um, this works also for subtraction as well. I have a subtraction for problem for you. So again, I'm going to make my butterfly and multiply the two numbers together. Two times two is four. And then I'm going to multiply these two together. One times five is five. I'm going to multiply my two bottom numbers. Two times five is ten. And then since this is a subtraction problem, I'm going to ask myself five minus four is one. And then my new denominator which is 10. So pretty cool, pretty simple way to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. Um, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think. Thanks.